director admitting his movie wasn't perfect, we never thought we'd see the day. But Transformers' Michael Bay has kind of acknowledged that the second movie wasn't as good as the first. Revenge of the Fallen was the number two film of last year behind Avatar, and while it was clearly very popular, it seems many critics and fans were a little disappointed. And it seems Michael's taken it on board, saying in a recent interview that he'll take some of the criticism, adding that it was very hard to put the sequel together that quickly after the writer's strike. Filming on the third movie is already underway, and apparently Apparently fans need not fear because it'll have a better story, have less dorky comedy, as Michael puts it, and characters who have died previously will actually stay dead this time. Oh, and it'll be in 3D too. The other big change, of course, for the third Transformers film is the distinct lack of one Megan Fox. Did she jump or was she pushed? Well, Megan says it was her decision to leave the franchise, but it's been well documented that Megan and Michael didn't always see eye to eye. So who knows who really had the final say? Gorgeous British model Rosie Huntington-Whiteley has now been brought in to play the leading lady in the third movie. So how does Shia LaBeouf feel about all this? Well, he said, I love Megan and I miss the girl, but that his character Sam and hers Michaela had become one character. So in this third movie and the casting of Rosie, there's a new perspective on things. Well, we look forward to seeing that when Transformers 3 is out next summer.